Physics experiments can take decades, and without training up the next generation to take on the task, physics wouldn't move forwards. Find out how the APS is helping the physics community do it right here on APS TV. It's amazing to think that for many students, this meeting really is launching their careers as scientists. There's so much insight and so many ideas floating around that it's impossible not to be inspired with it all, especially with everyone coming together for the Global Physics Summit. And here on APS TV, we're continuing to get to grips with some of the great research that's being shared here. I'll sit down with one of this year's Kavli Symposium speakers to explore the cosmos. Sarah Vigland is part of the Nanograv collaboration using new ways to detect gravitational waves. And so we're really just at the beginning of what we can learn with gravitational waves. I think the next 10 years, the next 100 years are going to be incredibly exciting. And I'll also be looking to deep space as Joaquin Espinosa talks us through how he's able to observe dark matter subhalos through astrometric signatures. Now we have a lot of data, and I think that that's very important to test uh, our kind of machinery or mechanism. And also, it's good to constrain dark matter because the whole, whole point of this is to infer dark matter properties. There's plenty more from APS TV. Check out everything we've made at the 2025 Global Physics Summit and beyond by heading to the APS TV playlist. Watch, subscribe, like, and share. Let's spread the word about this great work that the community is doing.